I'm Renita. And I'm Becca. And you're watching the Success Soapbox. The Success Soapbox is a web series where we give students just like you the opportunity to give your perspectives on different success subjects. Let's see what students have to say about time management. The first question, how many hours would you say are in a week? How many hours are there in a week? How many hours would you say are in a week? Uh, in a week? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. How many hours? Yes. Uh, that's a good question. There's a lot. <laughs> we do 24 with seven, seven. I honestly don't know, 128, maybe 140. I'm not sure. It's like 160 something. Is it 168? I can't even tell you to be honest. I don't count the time, I just make the time count. What? So four times seven is 28. It did 20 times seven. That's 140. So 168 hours in a week. Hours are in a week. Good job. Now that you know it's 168 hours, how many of those hours do you spend being productive? Maybe 60 hours. Maybe 48 of those hours. <laughs> Maybe like uh, 20 to 40. About eight hours productive. So eight hours of the week you are productive out of 168. Okay, nice. How many days before an assignment is due do you start working on it? I do things at the last minute, so I procrastinate a lot. Today, actually, I just got an assignment, so I'm probably gonna start working on it right now. If it's something that I actually, like, you know, want to put all my effort into, like, I'll start it the day I get it, but if it's something easy that I really don't care about, like, I'll do it the night before. What gets in the way of you managing your time? Oh, that's a good question. Social media. Being, being on my phone. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, let me catch up on a TV series or let me go text my friends. I like sleep. <laughs> For all the students out there watching, what is one tip that you'd want to give them to help manage their time better? Um, make sure you like you start your assignments early. I think like setting a goal beforehand and like setting a time frame for like how much time I want to spend on something and then I like commit to it. People they spend more time procrastinating and doing things they don't need to do but like if you actually just you know buckle down and do the things instead of worrying about having to do it and just actually like going to it you'll get it done a lot faster and have time to do more things you want to do. Time is one thing you can't get back like you can spend money and you can spend like it's billionaires that is that can't spend their money in a lifetime but one thing they can't buy is time so make the time count in your life because that's one thing you won't get back time management can be difficult for lots of students but luckily we have five tips to help you manage your time better record your schedule so you can see how you currently manage your time and can see where to improve Make to-do lists each day and prioritize them so you can focus on what's most important. Remember, for every one credit hour you take, you should be spending approximately three hours on homework. Take regular breaks so you don't burn out. Breaks actually help you to be more productive in the long run. Set time limits for each task on your to-do list. This can help you stay on task. After watching this video, unplug and step away from other distractions. Thanks for watching Success Soapbox. Tune in next month for our next episode. Don't forget to stand on your own success soapbox by commenting on this video and following us on Facebook.